I, I think it's the army. That's all the two victims of this crime have to say, it seems. What does everyone think? I can't be sure, but I really think either of them is responsible. I mean, neither of them have a reason to lie at this point. Nor do either have any real motivation to do this. <laughs> Both of them wanted that stall, and the absolute biggest positive situation either of them could have had was to use the um, stall sharing thing. Because if a uh, rich guy, a uh, capital guy, went and destroyed the other stall and then destroyed his own stall, then what's the point? And if the um, if the local guy decided to destroy both stalls, he doesn't get what he wants either. I mean, they could have just been both mad. The only thing that's really unaccounted for is the fact that the local guy was drunk. So we don't really know what he was doing during that time, so we might want to go talk to his friend. Both merchants certainly seem to have adequate motivation to damage the other stalls, but the chances of both committing the same crime in the same night without crossing paths is virtually nil. It's not impossible that they were just out to steal each other's merchandise, but I don't believe that's what happened. Both of them have alibis confirming that they were somewhere else when the crime took place. I'm inclined to agree. I just can't see either of those merchants being responsible for what happened. So we're going to have to look us, uh, elsewhere to find viable suspects. Where though? I can pos- I mean, who could possibly have been? The army. You guys gonna figure that out? It's impossible to say right now. We don't have any solid leads. We don't know who the culprit was, or how are we supposed to start narrowing down who it was. I mean, I suppose... I'm taking this from a very narrative standpoint. It could be anyone, really, realistically. But out of the possible parties that have even been introduced in this world, then the only one who has anything positive to gain out of it is the provincial army and the people they work for. So, the market itself seems unlikely to produce any further clues, so we should focus our attention elsewhere. Actually, there is one thing that's been bugging me. There's one group of people involved in this whole situation whose actions don't seem to make any sense. Maybe, if we can work out the reasoning behind their strange behavior, we can come one step closer to finding our culprit. Whom do you mean? I'm talking about? Ah. The Provincial Army. They haven't done a thing to try and solve this crime despite it happening right under their noses. And that begs the question, why not? Hmm. The market manager said they're refusing to fulfill their role due to the tax issue. Which means the provincial army should refuse to intervene in quarrels within the market as well. If that's the case, then why did they come and intervene this morning? Now that you mention it, that really doesn't make any sense. Their methods were atrocious, but the fact is they brought that dispute to an end almost instantly. They did, they did get involved. Yeah, one minute they're refusing to do anything and the next they're just... They're taking the stand. They're taking a stand. It's definitely suspicious. My point exactly. There's definitely something unnatural about the way they're conducting themselves. And since we have no other leads, what do you say we go to the army's guardhouse and take a look around? We might be able to learn something from them that could aid us in our investigation. Hmm. That may be a worth. That may be worth an attempt. The guardhouse. Uh, guardhouse isn't far from here either. Let's head over there. And head over there and see what we can find out. Ah, my mouth. So dry. Okay, still can't go do the other things, too. Guess I'll head straight to the army. Aren't you students from that military academy? What are you doing here? We're terribly sorry to trouble you, but we were hoping you might be able to help us with something. Could we ask you a few questions about the incident that occurred in the Grand Market this morning? What? What does it have to do with you? Uh... We're visiting this town on a field study, as students at Thor's Military Academy. And we would very much appreciate the chance to see how experienced soldiers such as yourselves handle difficult everyday situations. This seems a perfect opportunity for anecdotal case study, and could prove most invaluable to our uh, education, if you'd permit it. Good job, Laura. Quick, quick thinking. Alright, stay here, I'll see what I can do.
looks like we may be able to uh, hear what they have to say for themselves after all. Nicely done, Laura. <laughs> Times like these, we need to make good use of our positions. No one can fault us for that. Now comes the hard part. Ah, this makes me nervous. Well, let's just wait and see what we can get out of them. Remember, it's not always what they say that matters, but how they say it. And even more importantly, what they don't say. Right. Because if they're caught lying, just straight lying, that's... that's... pretty good. For our... for my case, that they're the ones responsible. <sighs> I hope you appreciate taking the time... Uh, me... I hope you appreciate us taking the time out of our busy schedules for this. So what do you want? And make it quick. I'm a busy man, you know? He's not even trying to keep up appearances. Unbelievable. I'll be brief then. We came to discuss the incident at the market this morning. We would be correct in assuming that the provincial army will be conducting no further investigation? Hmm. Is that all you came here to ask? Is that all? Should the armed forces charged with maintaining peace in the region not be taking the matter more seriously? Laura, I'm not sure. Hmm. You've got a big mouth for someone your age. And it seems you have a lot to learn about how military units actually work. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. What should the number one priority of the provincial, uh, provincial army be in the be in order to maintain the status quo? I'll tell you. The number one priority should be to enforce the will of the region's ruling lord, Du Gabarea. As members of the provincial army, the will of nobility is absolute. We're just following our orders, protecting what we ha uh, what we have a duty to protect. I assume you're referring to the local petition against the sales tax increase. You're saying as long as the petition isn't withdrawn, the Grand Market isn't something you have a duty to protect. Interpret my words however you want. We're soldiers. We follow orders. That's how the military works. We, know, we don't need some fresh military academies inductees telling us how to do our jobs. Ugh, this is nuts. Does he even have a tiny shred of, shre shred of shame? I was hoping we'd be able to get something out of him, but it sure doesn't seem too likely anymore. So, is that it then? Maybe... I hope this has been enlightening. Now, if you excuse me, I have a job to do. Wait. Would you mind answering just one more question? Elliot? Oh, did Elliot figure it out? Oh, and if he refuses to answer, and if... Fine, ask it. Well... Do you have any ideas what have happened to the goods Marco was handling? You know, the accessory merchant. All he had left was that one sample. What are you talking about? The merchant from the capital, Heinz, was the one who was planning on selling accessories. What? What did you just say? What are you all looking at me for that? How do you know that? I was under the impression you hadn't been investigated. You hadn't investigated the matter at all. Hmm, how peculiar. We only discovered what each of the merchants were intending to sell a short while ago. Sir, we have our own way to finding things out. You do well not to underestimate us. Now, we've wasted enough time answering your questions. We're leaving. Okay, who do we get to do anything to this? Do you think? The fact that they know what each of the merchants was selling means they did investigate the matter after all. Oh, 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 because he said the other name. That makes sense. Yeah, Elliot figured it out. But the burglary happened last night, and it was only first discovered this morning. Realistically, I don't think there was any opportunity during that time for them to do any digging, not without running into us. Agreed. I suspect uh, they knew what each merchant was planning to sell well in advance of yesterday's incident. Though, that would be easy information for them to learn, since Duke Alberea must have issue permits for both stalls. That's true, and the army would have no trouble gaining access to the transaction records or something like that. But why would they bother? Maybe they need to know so they can prepare. Prepare for what? I get the impression that the incident at the market has been carefully planned out for a while now. I don't think those two merchants being given permits at the same spot was a coincidence either. It's probably done to get them to start fighting, so they could get robbed while their tension there was tension between them. Basically, it's a great situation uh, that couldn't be brought under control without the army's help. So the two merchants were being used uh, all along. That seems to fit perfectly with what happened this morning. 
Meanwhile, the Provisional Army has shown no interest in actively working towards a solution, unless the market manager chooses to withdraw his petition. So, they wait for him to- they wait for things to get out of hand, and they show up to use force on both parties into- uh, to force both parties into an uncomfortable truce. Eventually, the merchants would get worn down enough that they feel like they'd have no choice but to withdraw, uh, withdraw the petition. This is turning out to be an even shadier situation than I thought. Yeah, but thanks to Elliot, I do believe we finally uncovered the truth of this matter. That was indeed some very quick thinking you displayed, Elliot. You'd make a fine military strategist. <laughs> I just got lucky, that's all. So what we know is, the provincial army is somehow involved with the crime, uh, with the actual perpetrators of this crime. The only way to solve it once and for all, it seems to be, well, um, to find them and catch them. But if this was carried out by members of the provincial army, it's not going to be an easy task. No, I don't think anyone from the army was directly involved. Soldiers here are far too proud to dirty their hands with such escapades. Good point. I tend to agree, really. Whoever the culprits are, I doubt they're still in Celtic. There aren't many vi uh, viable places to hide in such a huge volume of goods without them being found. Yep, that's a good point. Maybe they escaped by train? No, that can't be. Boarding a train with that much merchandise would raise suspicion for sure. It's been less than a day uh, since the burglary happened, so they can't have gotten far. Maybe we should ask around at the main roads and see if anyone saw anything out of the ordinary. Some suspicious may have spotted, uh, been spotted leaving or even entering the town. That sounds like a wise course of action. Come, let's resume our search. We mustn't let this cowardly thief run free. I wouldn't dream of it. Yay! We got down to the solution nice and quick. I thought it was all too obvious from the beginning, but... I was all suspecting they were, like, hiding in the guardhouse or something. And that's why they were stopping people from going in, like, to an almost dramatic extent. You know anything? Excuse me, do you happen to be Lizzie? That's correct. Does that make you students from Thor's? Oh! This is a different quest. I'll do this. Does that make you the students from Thor's who the market manager said would be coming then? Yep, that's us. Hey, I'm to see you about the request you sent in. Could you explain the situation? Of course. I happened to come by someone's wall uh, uh, by my store yesterday. You see, kept with me in hopes that they would come pick it up, but no one's come to claim it. As such, I'd like you to ask uh, to ask you all for your help in delivering it back to the owner. Would you be able to do that for me? Sure. Yep, we'd be happy to help. Thank you. Here's the wall I found then. We sure take good care of it. Assume you've already inspected the contents? I did indeed. Fortunately, there wasn't anything inside that could help identify the owner. What exactly was inside? Well, there was Mira. I couldn't believe how much was in there, though. The only thing... Uh, train ticket to Heimdallar that's scheduled for tonight. Sound like the owner is a fairly well-off traveler, then. As much we can do with that as our only lead. But, if they're a traveler, that means they're probably at the inn and they haven't left yet. I believe the train ticket is potentially our best lead. Yeah, but what should we do with it? Uh, should we go ask at the station? Yeah, considering it's a train that leaves tonight, imagine the owners frantically searching for it. Which means they might have already been at the station themselves to ask about it. Let's over to the station then. Sorry for the trouble, counting on you for this. Okay. After entering the, stager, they, uh, entering the station, they asked about it. Yes, there is an inquiry. The wall seems to match the description we received too. Uh, can I ask when the inquiry was made? I believe it was this morning. A young lady came in a panic, claiming she was in complete loss with our wallets and contents. And what I could tell, she seems to have been traveling alone, too. Uh, uh, I get why she was in panic. Say anything else that could lead us to her. Returning to the inn and doing a thorough check. Yep, at the same inn. Yep, that makes it simple. And exactly what I thought it would be, too. Uh, is something the matter? Do you have a moment? There's something I would, uh, I would like to ask. Explain the situation. If you're looking for Annabelle, bad timing though. She just left. That's unfortunate. We have a name now. At least that makes life a lot easier. And I remember talking to her at some point. I remember talking to an Annabelle. Oh! She was the foreigner who went to the- who was like in the market and was just like, Oh, I can't believe I got to go to the grand market. And she seemed like she was with someone. She seemed like it was with someone, so that's a bit odd. Mentioned she's been searching the rest area in the Grand Market next, so you might want to head there. Make sure you return it to her, okay? We will. We are good. That doesn't look like a woman. Uh, 
Uh, do you know the young lady? She was here a few moments ago, but she's gone now. <laughs> or she went. Fortunately not. She did mention something about having no choice but to rely on Ida. Okay, church. Yep, go to the church. You're just leading me on quite a chase there. Come on, Annabelle. There you go. Oh, why does police have mercy on my soul? I simply cannot believe that. How am I supposed to live, having lost all my mirror in a place like this? Looks like we found her. The tragic heroine act made it kind of obvious. Unfortunately, we'll have to interrupt her. Excuse me. Ah! Just, who the hell are you? Well, you can turn right around if you plan to rob me. I no longer have any. Like, please calm down. We just want to ask you something. Are we correct in assuming that uh, you are Annabelle? I am. Ha, huh, thought so. You wouldn't happen to recognize this wallet, would you? That's my wallet. Where did you find it? Well, you see. Explained. Thank you so much. I'm surprised to hear that a merchant for the Grand Market kept it safe for me, however. Kindness remains within people's hearts after all, it would seem. Uh, looks that way, yeah? <laughs> Regardless, I'm very grateful that you found it for me. Is there any partic uh, particular amount that you'd like in return? <laughs> you can have half what's currently in here if you'd like. Uh, I don't think we can accept that. Thanks, no uh, thanks alone are enough. I see. Well, how about this then? I purchased it as a souvenir at the Grand Market before the uh, Great Wallet search began. Bigger blush, yes. I see no reason you can't accept that. In fact, I insist. I hope you find it useful. Thank you. We gratefully accept them. You're very welcome. Thank you again for finding my wallet. Ah, that was quite an adventure. See so you found it. Can't really thank you enough. Glad we could be of help. Please excuse us. Yep. Glad I was able to help her. Good thing. Still can't leave, so I guess I'll do this next. Lulu, are you okay? Look what the nasty man did to her. Um, is something the matter? I was just chasing after uh, Lulu near the west exit of town. And there's this weird man asleep along the side of the street. A weird man? Hmm, the sleep in the midst of a bustling town like this, obvious to its dangers, suggests he possesses formidable skill. Or is incredibly dumb. Or he was just really drunk. The nasty smell coming off him uh, nearly made little Lulu faint. That's terrible. It really was. I don't know who he is, but I'll have to keep an eye on Lulu and make sure she keeps her distance from him. Hmm. She's not from this town, and then... Oh, he's not. Uh, I only started seeing him around a few days ago. I've never seen him before that. Really, now? That sounds like a lead if I've ever heard one. If he's drinking in the middle of the day, and it is an instructor, Sarah, then we know he's not a merchant, at the very least. Yeah, I think we should go talk to him. Let's have a look near the west exit and see if we can track him down. Never eat soggy waffles this way. <laughs> drink? Bring me another drink. Ugh, pew, this guy reeks. How much has he put down? It's only midday and he's already completely blitzed. I don't think this is the man we're looking for. I think he'd have trouble pulling off a robbery. Um, sir, are you alright? We can help you go back home if you'd like. Leave me alone. I'm just good for nothing. You lost your job looking after that. Major Park, I wish my whole life. Major Park? I wonder if he's talking about the Lunario Nature Park we saw yesterday. Oh, you can know it? See, I used to be the park ranger for that old place. And you lost your job? Yeah, I'm nowhere too. You gave me a lot to that job I did, and then you just gave it to get off from me. That damn fisher just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> I told I was sacked. You can't just take a man alive with a uh, software. Job was my life, my <laughs> life. Yeah, we can see that. Something about this doesn't seem right. I agree. It hardly seems fair to take a man's job away from him without any good reason. Right? I'm glad somebody um, understands how I feel. There's no way a bunch of kids like that are gonna do a bad job on me. Kids? I was drinking here last night, see? 
a bunch of kids in ranger uniforms went walking out right through the West Texas. The thing was, I was scaring a bunch of wooden boxes to in the middle of that night. Kids, I tell you, you don't think they could have been the nature park? I wouldn't even consider it. Actually, neither did I. But given its size, it would no doubt be a perfect hiding spot. Yeah, they'd have no trouble stashing the merchandise they, uh, there undetected. The men standing at the entrance yesterday were probably there as lookouts. And a provincial official was the one to tell him that he was fired. That pra that's practically a smoking gun. Huh? Did I say something useful or something? I don't know what I said, but if I help you out, why not buy my drink? I would suggest you tr uh, start trying to sober yourself up instead. There's a good chance we may be able to recover both your park and your job. What? We know our next stop. As soon as we're fully prepared, let's head out to the Lunaria Nature Park. Right. And I can do the other quest while I'm out, I think. We should take a right here to reach the Nature Park. Right. Let's go. So where's the stone bridge? Not this way. Huh. Okay, but... There's no other way to go. The fuck? Do you have to go through the nature park in order to... as part of the highway? I guess that would make a little bit of sense. Ooh, no lookouts. Interesting. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Well, that could mean anything. I wonder what happened to those bossy guys who were here before. They really are the culprits. Maybe they've run away already? Hmm. This woodland is too dense for to reliably intuit whether anyone awaits within. Yeah. What's this? Yes. It's a bracelet. How did a bracelet come to be in a place such as this? Just as I thought. This bracelet has the same design as the one the merchant from the capital was planning on selling. Shocking! Really? You're sure? Positive. There's no doubt in my mind it was designed by the same person. Care to give a second opinion on that, Laura? Hmm. I'm hardly qualified to weigh in on recent trends, but there do seem to be a number of similarities between this bracelet and the merchant's goods. So the fact that it's here means, yeah. It's extremely likely that the, cul likely that the culprits we're looking for are inside this park. Sure seems that way. Hmm. It's locked, probably. It only opens from the inside. I suppose that leaves us little choice. Taking out your sword? Taking out your sword. Are you going to destroy it? Will you be able to? The lock seems quite solid, but my sword should be strong enough to... Wait. I'll do it. I can, done it. I can get it done more quietly. Oh? Really? What are you going to do? The Eight Leaves One Blade Schools for Form, Autumn Leaf Cutter. Hmm? Seriously? Wow, you cut it right in two! I did, thankfully. Spectacular. It's an honor bearing witness to one of the skills of the Eight Leaves School. Ha, <laughs> thanks. But I'm still more or less a beginner, though. Anyway, we don't have much time left. Let's head inside and see if we can find them. Right. We need to find them before the sun starts to set. Looks like we can still make it after all. Excellent. Come then. We must make haste.
so I guess I should take this and see if I run into ha the Heimdaller route. Hmm. True and blue dungeon. There's tons of little stone monuments in here. Yeah. What do you think they're supposed to be? I imagine they were made by the animists in this province. Oh, you mean all this stuff? These little things? Yeah. It's a bit odd. Animus being the religion, right? At least that's the impression I got. This way's a dead end. Yeah, this park covers a lot more area than I was expecting. Uh, it's a treasure uh... chest! That's different. A challenging foe. We should engage it with care. Indeed. Let's save. This looks tough. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Go! Uh... Uh... Alright, let's do this! Okay. I got it! I'm not sure we've had enemies that big yet. Let's, uh, hope. Pray and hope. None of them. Crap. Nice. No, 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 no. Right. Okay. Okay. We want this. Give it up, everyone. I can do this. Yeah, my biggest advantage is grouping together because they can't punch through each other. Hang in there. <laughs> Thanks. So <laughs> this isn't going great. Let's, uh, use this time to re-up this. Everyone. Now, the week against fires is going to be... That That was not good. That was not good. Ooh, do -do 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 -do. This isn't going well. I can't get any of them out of stuns! I can do this. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Huh? Thanks. No, we can't do this. We're dead. I've never got a game over before. Right. I should have I should have used my uh I should have used the Esprit. I should have used the Esprit. But a little late for that. Ooh. You know what? If I'm really careful and I get lucky, I might be able to win this. Or not. I just need to hit this guy. There. It's my turn. Uh, okay, I'm done. Uh, no. Never got a game over before in this. Oh no, I'm just gonna retry. A worthy adversary. Here we go. Now, let's see. 
What can I do to get them away from that critical there? Ooh, I know. I know. S break. My turn. Oh, they're gone anyways. No. I'm not gonna use it until I need to. Don't hit too hard. Okay. And Are you okay, man? Ha! Okay. Oh, and I can't use S break now. I'm okay. Sorry, right. Do I have an item that can um all status abnormalities? That's what I'm looking for. Ha! You have my thanks. Oh, I can only hit with them. And I don't even take them out. I can do this. Ah. Uh, okay. A lot of these guys are weak at the moment, though. So I can get those two. Very nice. Yes. Important to link with someone who can actually do something on this critical. Let's go. I got you. <laughs> I stand by my statement. Take this. <laughs> as pointless as it was. If I did this, yes, I could get it off. Huh. Okay, this suddenly got a lot more manageable. Well, hopefully. I can do this. We should keep going. And I and I win. Okay. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what killed him, but okay. We're good. We're good. 